my forex funds website is now back up they had a lawsuit which is from the cftc and then they seized all their assets and every account was frozen from them not only that people who were due payouts people who had life funded accounts were all gone including myself where i had 400k funding from them which was taken away plus a 7k payout so since then they've been able to get everything released and only 12 million is now frozen so i know that sounds like a lot but for a company that was actually turned over probably anywhere from 10 to 20 20 million every single month 12 million is not a lot to be left over to be frozen and on top of that their website is now a backup so in today's video i'm going to be talking to you guys about why now is the best time to get into prop terms and prop space with ftmo's new premium program that they had recently funded engineer that can also give you another salary prop firms coming left right and center what are the companies that i am actually going to be funded with what is the overall view of the prop firm space and what should you be doing in order to get yourself seven figure funding right now right here in 2024 well this video is made 2023 but it'll be for 2024 so let's get started right so first and foremost is my forex funds website is now back up this is the key staple and this means basically now things are starting to come back into light now when they got frozen their website went down they said they were on the maintenance and then from there they were doing the lawsuit back and forth and then no one could have access to their accounts no one knew what was going to happen they've given us very little updates but they did just say they're going to just fight through this so no one really knows what's going to happen they're going to have to really think about how they're going to get clients to trust them and to carry on trading with them so the great thing is if they come out of this they would have won against their cftc so that's kind of like a pro that but yet again i still think there's going to be a lot of scarcity for people who want to be buying challenges with them who are going to trust them if they're actually going to be long and stable so i think there's going to be a little bit of disparity there they've got the second option which people are talking about which is completely shutting down and then starting a new company now personally i don't like this option because if they do that that means everything has to be started again i know they could probably white label the service or white label the you know the broker or the tech or whatever it is but then yet again that means people like me who got funded we lose out the payouts get lost out as well and we don't really have any goodwill to go and get funded with them when there are so many other companies at the moment but personally i think the best solution or the best answer will be they come back and trade not only do they come back and trade they work on some more marketing techniques to encourage people to carry on trading with them and then show them that you know we won this lawsuit this is the one of the top companies the top five companies we're here to stay and then make the right movements now alongside with that one of the reasons why ftmo are so great is because they don't filter in any of the drama or the twitter noise or anything alongside of that and that's one of the best things with my forex funds as well my forex funds and uh, ftmo they both did that they were no drama they'd go about their business and that's why they were top two however that being said who knew that they were going to have that lawsuit so really and truly i think if they come back in they're going to have to do something very 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 drastically um attractive to get people to carry on trading with them uh, me included and hopefully people like myself we get our refunds we get um, our payouts and then we get our life funded accounts because also a massive massive big thing on this is opportunity cost for the months that they have gone i probably would have been able to make way more payouts so what are they going to do that are they going to compensate us are they going to give a crap about us it's just really interesting to see are they going to you know really care about their clients and really care about you guys and myself when they come back to open and trade so the next part of this video i wanted to talk about something completely different and i think this is the greatest part and you may have saw this on the trailer but literally you could get salaries from funded companies now so it's crazy so not only do you, you don't have to make the payouts you could get paid just to be a trader so funded engineer are one of the companies that pay as say a salary it's up to five hundred dollars to a thousand dollars ftmo if you get their prime and you work with quant lane and then from there you will also be able to get a salary then we also have this hedge fund or this fund model that we're working with behind the scenes in the partnership and they are also offering a salary as well alongside with that there are two other private investors and two other private traders who are willing to allocate money to us from a monthly basis as a salary for us to trade their capital so it goes to show right now that in itself there are five opportunities to be able to get a salary to trade and that's nearly 10k to 15k worth of salary in total and you don't even have to trade if you don't want to if there's no market setups and that's why it's incredibly important and the value of this message is when you have the skill money no longer becomes the problem because everyone wants to come at you there are only five percent and one percent of traders that really really make it so when you sit at this level people want to give you money because who can have the skill to turn money into more money not 
from a business perspective, from a trading perspective, and that quick as well. And that's what makes trading so attractive. There's an abundance, you can trade quickly, you can make profits within days, you can make profits within months, and you can also make huge moves and huge return of investments with the right skill set and the right risk management. So really and truly, this is the great opportunity to get into it. And then my Forex funds have a lot to catch up with. They could be bringing in some real cool programs to come in as well. But overall, I think this is the greatest time to get funding. I myself am 1.5 million. I'm going to be trying to get anywhere between two to three million within the first quarter of 2024. And then we've got a full breakdown and a full, full, full winner circle to do this to help you achieve that if you want to be a seven figure funded trader as well. So if you do want to do that, the application is down below for the wait list. Um, we've got the applications are opening. We have two webinars a week on this as well. Not only do we have two webinars a week teaching you trading, we do live trading sessions. We have journal reviews, accountability, day trading strategy, swing trading strategy, the whole shebang. So what do you guys think? What do you guys think of the My Forex Fund situation? Do you think it's going to be good? Do you think it's going to be bad? Where do you guys see the prop fund space at the moment? And are you guys going to join me on the seven finger funded at the moment? So drop a comment below. Hope you guys liked the video. Remember to like, share and subscribe. Honestly and truly, this is the best time to get into the prop trading space because as I mentioned, uh, and I did in Riz podcast is back then, we had to try and flip $500 into 10,000 and slowly compound the dollar cost average. Now you can pay $500 to get a $100,000 account make 10%, that's 10K a month. That's right, $10,000 a month. So this is the best time to be making money. So hope you guys enjoyed the video. Remember to like, share and subscribe. Peace.